Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. Last time we left off, we defeated Crocodile Cauldron and the boss of it, and we started a bit of uh, Krim Quay, the nefarious Krim Quay I like to call it, and with this episode we're going to continue on the level with Crockhead Clamber. So, what you want to do here first in Crockhead Clamber, go to the left at the beginning right here, throw your partner up, you want to be careful while you do it, so just... Be cautious, otherwise you'll throw her into the zingers, him or her, anyways. And you want to throw it in the middle right there. Try to get it in through. Damn it. You know what? Just kill myself. I'm just going to kill myself. I, I was, like, stuck in the middle. I didn't want to go back. But don't worry. Um, if I don't have Dixie right now, that doesn't matter because there's a barrel right there to get her. So it's without consequence if you do die. But anyways, the reason why you want to go over here is because there's a secret... Um, over here so this time throw her in the middle and then throw her all the way to the point where that chest is and what you want to do is run to the zingers with the chest all four of them and once you do you get the area's dk coin so remember always in this level always go to the beginning to the left and throw your partner over there to get the treasure of the dk coin so this level, Crockhead Clamber, what you're going to be doing throughout the level is you're going to be platforming. Now, the first half is just going to be regular platforming, so you don't have to worry about... Uh, well, you still have to worry about precise jumps, but... <laughs> with this one, it's just uh, make sure you land on the enemies, otherwise you'll fall into the swamp and die. So just be careful and just be cautious where you're jumping. So... Uh, and also, when you get to the halfway mark, um, you're going to notice a sudden change in the platforms that you're going to be having. Instead of, like, jumping on enemies and everything like that. Um, and also, like, a little bit... So, here we are, the halfway point. So, what you want to do is throw your partner all the way up while you jump. And you'll get a bonus barrel. And the reason why that's, like, such a big thing with the, the no spider thing with Squitter right there is because all well, Squitters are here. So... Always be on the lookout for, like, like I said, the banana arrows that you need to find in the levels whenever you see them up in the air or, like, uh, right next to you. Or, like, little signs like the, uh, like the squitter sign, like the no squitter sign, because you'll notice there will be, like, a squitter right there or, like, Rambi or something like that. So, the second half of the level... Oh, damn it. Uh, so, the second half of this level right here is going to be you going through the level and hitting these barrels that have the crockheads on them. When you do, crockheads will appear in the swamp, and you need to hurry and hustle up whenever you jump on them, because they're not going to be there for long, like, I, like you saw right there. So, you want to be quick on your feet, and you want to be fast, otherwise you'll be dead in the swamp if you don't, if you stay on the head for too long. So, just be careful. And that's going to be the second half of this. Also, another part of this that you need to be careful with is these guys right here. Like, you need to just, like, if you can, jump on them as soon as you get to the next, uh the next stem so like i did right there but also be careful and not over jump because if you do you might not hit them and they'll take away a partner from yours if you're just not careful enough so just be cautious when you jump on them um and be fast on these crockheads because you only have a, lim a limited amount a limited, a, a limited amount of time so and with this i think we're almost at the end of this level right here these two stems right here. Yep, and we're at the... Let's see if we can get the G. <clears throat> Damn, we did. But that's okay. And with that, Crockhead Clamber is done. So, next up on the list right here, after Crockhead Clamber is Rattle Battle. And I have to say, Rattle Battle has my favorite, some of my favorite music in the game. By the way, um, right here... Uh, what you want to do is throw your partner up to the left right there. There's a secret hidden barrel right there, and then it'll shoot you up into a bonus game and throw your partner again. So, like I said, Rattle Battle is, has probably my favorite game in the entire game. And the reason why is you're going gonna, you're gonna to hear in a minute, because we're going to go through the level. So, here's what Rattle Battle has to offer. Throughout the entire level... You're not only, you're not gonna be riding Radley, you're gonna be Radley, the snake. So 
That's the cool thing about this game is that you actually become the animals. And here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite, well, one of the f my favorite uh, songs in this game, mainly because of just how catchy it is. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. So with Rattle Battle, it's gonna be you being Rattly throughout the entirety of the level. So get used to like remember you gotta be used to being using Rattly. Um, remember, holding the A button makes him do a mega jump to wind up for a mega jump. By the way, um, uh, fall down this hole right here and go to the left instead of the right, because the left right here will give you a bonus game. So, instead of going to the, instead of going to the right, because the right will just launch you back up to where, to where that, uh, cage was at right there, so, you don't need to really worry about it, worry about that. Instead, just go to the left, and you'll get a bonus game. So, but yeah, this this theme is probably one of my favorites. Um, the conductor of this conductor, I always say conductor and producer. But honestly, the music producer of this game, amazing. By the way, the reason why I'm not going any farther um, is because you want to go down right here. Uh, be really cautious. Don't jump up into the zinger. Go right here and jump, and you get a DK coin. So. The one thing I didn't tell you about Radley and what his special talents are is uh, you don't have to wait till you're on the ground when he mini hops. So like you know how like he does like a mini hop like whenever you're regularly moving. Well, while he mini hops right there like in the air, you can still jump. So uh, right here, I was supposed to jump on the barrel and get the end, but since I jumped with the mini hop, I still had a jump left and I was able to get the cons in. So by the way. Um, you saw that arrow right there? Super jump all the way to a bonus game right there. So, and I think that's the last secret of Rattle Battle, so don't quote me, don't quote me on that, but we'll figure out when the, when the level ends. So, yeah, there are three secrets in here, plus the DK coin that's hidden underneath, like, uh, underneath the ship. So, when you're getting the DK coin, just be careful, because, uh, you could potentially fall to your death. I, sometimes I have done that before, getting the DK coin, but this time I was able to get it while still being alive. So, I mean, that's always good, because, you know, I always need the lives in this game. But, back to the whole music thing. The producer of this, or the conductor of this game, his, his name is David Wise, when he used to work for him. And I must say, he did a hell of a job with the soundtrack in this game. Like, this soundtrack is so much, I'm sorry to say, whoever likes the first DK game, like, I'm sorry to say, this game has some of my favorite music. Most of gaming, like, if, you, if you ask me. Like, it's such it's such good music. Like, it's, it left an everlasting impression on me. But anyways, we're to the end right here. Um, because we finished with Radley. And don't worry about ha not having Dixie. If you go to the right right there, there's a hidden barrel that you can get Dixie from. So, if, in case you lose her. So, don't worry about it. And with that, Rattle Battle is done. One of my actual favorite levels, even though like sometimes I have a trouble with it. And now we go to one of my least favorite levels in Crimson Quake, Slime Climbs. And you're gonna know why in a minute. So with Slime Climb, you notice the water right there. Don't fall in it, please God, don't. Because if you do, that fish is gonna hurt you and kill you. You can by the way, if you try to kill the fish, don't because you can't. The whole gimmick with Slime Climb is you're going to be climbing up throughout this entire ship and you need to be on, fast on your feet, otherwise the water is going to rise up towards you and if it consumes, if like, the water gets to you and you start swimming, you want to jump as fast as you can because that fish is really fast at hitting you and you can't kill it. You can't hit it with anything. It's invincible. Don't try, don't bother hitting, trying to hit it. It's not going to work. I'm just trying to save you the trouble of dying over and over again so just take my word for it but we're making fast time we're making fast pace right here um we're actually at the halfway point already but anyways kill this guy right here get the invisibility barrel and follow this banana trail right here going down and what you'll find is a bonus game that is the only time i say go into the water because you're invincible and you like i said that thing is invincible too because I ran into it with an invincibility on me, and it still just didn't die. So, take my word for it. You're not killing that thing. 
You're not killing that Lockjaw, like, that's what the, that's what the red one is, but I don't know, I think his name is Splitjaw, if I remember correctly, but I, I, I don't know. So, with this one, I, I just think, oh, damn it. <laughs> sorry, I was a little bit nervous while doing this one. Um, that one's kind of tough because, like, you can fall down. Uh, there's a barrel underneath the, the post, but it's just kind of hard to hit. You don't want to fail. But you can still get to the bonus game that I failed, so don't worry about it. As long as you just get that invincibility barrel constantly, like, you'll be fine. So, like I said, Slime Climb's not really my favorite level because of how much, how fast you have to go at a, like, at a really fast pace. You just need to be really cautious when you jump and, like, where you're going, like, in case you screw up. And if you do screw up, like, you better be quick about it because the water's gonna be rising and the, the, the creature down below, the giant little fishy, is gonna eat your face. So, you don't want to deal with that. So, like I said, um, I, I keep on going to the music tangent, but David Wise, like, dude, you were, you were, like, a music master at this game. Like, even this song, like, I really, did, I didn't really care for it at first, but honestly, it gives out that real good pirate vibe whenever you're going through the game. I mean, yeah, you're going through, like, a game, like, a, like, it's, like, the entire game has, like, a pirate theme, but honestly, this, this theme really signifies it. Like, it's really good. I, I think David Wise did an amazing job when making the soundtrack for this game, and I'm gonna have to give him credit where credit's due. Especially, especially the next level right here. Like, after Slime Climb, um, the next level is, level's music, it is on point. But anyways, back to what I was going to do. Get the cannonball, uh, run into these enemies all the way to the left, and you'll see a cannon right there for another bonus game. So, as long as I can get all the secrets for Slime Climb, I will be all good. Like, all good with, uh, getting all the secrets in Creme Play in general. Honestly, like, if we can get all that, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy camper and never coming back to this swamp again. I mean, I don't want to make, I don't want to be in Shrek Swamp whenever he's taking a bath or something like that. He'd be like, what are you doing in my swamp? I'd be like, oh god, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to leave. Whew, that was close. But anyways, uh, throw a bonus barrel, uh, throw your partner over to that, uh, invincibility barrel. Go all the way underneath the water right here, and you'll get a DK coin right here. And there's the end of the level. And with that, Slime Climb is done. So, now, now with Slime Climb done, we go to my favorite, my favorite music in the game, Bramble Blast. And I'm just gonna shut up for a minute for this. starting part go out for for a uh, ramble blast because that, that starting part it always just it's so it's so like harmonizing just so peaceful and just compared to the the whole bullshit you had to go through ramble blast honestly you need this music while you go through so with ramble blast right here what you're going to be doing, if it's not obvious enough, you're going to be shooting through yourself through barrels throughout the entirety of the level, so... Um, 
You have to be precise with your barrel shots. Don't make, don't let yourself get hit by the thorns while you shoot through. Just be precise when you're going through and shooting through the barrels. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna die. Like obviously. So right here, we're gonna go to our first secret. Go, uh, go across the way. And when you get to this uh, down barrel right here, um, whoops. When you go to the down barrel right here, go to the bottom left, and there's your bonus barrel. But like I said, David Wise, like, if there was a, if there was a, oh, by the way, um, if you want to follow this path right here, I'm going through here, go all the way down, like, go down right constantly until you hit the bottom right there, and then go up, and then once you hit this barrel right here, zigzag, like, go through, like, a zigzag formation, because that's the way to get to the top right, and then go down right again, until you zigzag all the way towards the so, but yeah, man, like, just David Wise, like, this song, this, this song is the best when I, when I first played this game. When I first heard this, like, I kind of wanted to tear up a bit, and I know that that sounds kind of like, I sound like kind of a bitch right now, but honestly, like, this, this song is just so, it's so peaceful, it just reminds me so much of my childhood when I played this game, like, it's such a good, it's such a good, I almost wanted to swear right there, but honestly, it's such a good fucking song. Like, um, and if you guys want to know what the song is called, it is called uh, Sticker Brush Symphony. If, like, instead of just typing in Rambo Blast, uh, type in uh, Sticker Brush Symphony, and you'll find the song. But, it's, like, the reason why it's so good is because of how, like, just peaceful, just, the music just flows with this thing. It's such a good one. I mean, the level itself, like, I think it's really fun, well, to me, but, uh, I really think, oh, oops, <laughs> but the level itself is just really, like, enjoyable, especially with the music, like, just being so peaceful, like, and it's funny, like, it's such a heavy contrast to, like, this level, because it's kind of stressful, with all the barrel blasting, and, like, you being, you being precise with it, and you're trying to get through, just... I think it's just a... It feels like an oxymoron to me. Honestly, like, when I'm playing through this level, I feel really good. I feel like, calm. And by the way, there's a DK coin right there. Don't worry, we'll get to it in a minute. Uh, we're actually going to get to it right about now. So, when you're going through this path right here, what you want to do is you want to go towards the path with a bunch of, like, certain bananas. Right here. And you go to the instant barrel, and you're going to be rotating a bit. So, what you want to do, jump on this dragonfly when you have the chance, right about now, in this instant barrel, jump on this dragonfly, but go to the left instead, and you'll fall down a hole into the up barrel, and you go into squawks. So, with right here, what you want to do, go through this path with squawks, uh, go to the top left, and shoot that zinger, and there's your DK coin, like I said. But, you're not done here. Uh, go to the right, all the way to the path. Go, go down the right path right here, and you want to continue on until you hit right here. Just be careful of these zingers, because remember you can't kill them. Go all the way down into the instant barrel for a bonus game, baby. So, like I said, and with the end of this uh, bonus game, we're actually going to be at the end of the level. But I, like I said, Ramble Blast. Uh, these levels uh, have have the uh, the music that Sticker Brush Symphony. My god, it is just so, it's so relaxing, it's so peaceful, it just reminds me so so much nostalgia whenever I used to play this game as a child. I think this game is just, this game soundtrack is just amazing. David Wise did such an um, amazing job with this game. And I really have to give him credit when you were with Guerrero, man. It's awesome. But with that, Rebel Blast is done. And actually, after Grandma Blast, it's the boss. But I think we're gonna hold off on that for now. All right, guys. So next time we, uh, next time we have a next video, uh, we're actually gonna go fight, fight the boss and get to the next area. All right, guys. So with that, I'll be signing off. All right, guys. This has been Inferno Nomad, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, everybody.